Hi, my name is Lee Sankey and this is the second part of uh, what is going to be a three-part video series on the seven themes for intermediate blues harmonica players who are looking to move on to the next level. I've tried to encapsulate these seven themes into one 12-bar passage to um, illustrate how they work. I've covered three of these themes in the first video, which I've already uploaded. I've tried to uh, make several attempts to compact them down into a second video, but I can't do it. So I'm going to have to do a quick change up and cover it in three videos, of which this is the second one. So let's go recap what the themes are. They are answer call, the details, simplicity, timing, color and variation, anchoring and agility, and playing the changes. I'm going to play the 12 bar passage which I've tried to use to illustrate all these themes once more and then we'll move to cover two more of the themes today and then I'm going to make another video for the last two. Um, we're using a C harmonica in the key of G, C diatonic uh, harmonica and the passage sounds like this. One, two, three. So that's the 12 bar passage which we'll use to discuss and bounce these ideas around. So, the fourth theme I want to talk about is timing. Now, as an intermediate harmonica player, you already know that timing is crucial. Uh, but what I want to talk about is not just timing, playing in time, being in the groove, being in the pocket, but is to think about timing on a deeper level in the sense of timing within an individual phrase. Now, the way that I've illustrated that, I hope, in this 12 bar passage, is the phrase we have on the four chord, which is this. Now, that's using a draw two, draw three half step bend and blow four. Now, what I want you to think about is the draw three with these notes. Now, if I was to play those notes using the same time interval, it would sound like this. Or. Now, by hanging on the draw three for a split second, we can completely change the characteristic of that riff or the phrase, give it a, a completely different feel. So that's really what I'm talking about, is how can you hang on a note or change the timing of one or more notes of the, uh, to produce a different feeling or a completely different uh, riff or lick. Now a lot of intermediate players don't think on that level or don't use that idea. If we take uh, another riff which we're not using in this 12 bar passage that, that you'll all be familiar with, the classic sort of draw four, draw five roll bend. Now. As an intermediate player, you can play that riff and you can bend notes, but if you think about in the context of, of, of timing on a deeper level, if you hang on the draw four or uh, in a different way, um, or alternate the timing using the same notes, you can get a completely different flavor. Uh, Kim Wilson is fantastic at that. Now as an intermediate player, all those techniques are within your grasp already. If you can play that lick, you can play around with the timing. So that's the fourth theme, is timing. Uh, not just playing in time, and not where a riff or a lick happens, but the timing within a phrase, and how you can play around with it to give uh, new possibilities. Again, Little Waters, amazing at that. The next theme I want to talk about, which will be the last one for this particular video, is colour and variation. Now, this idea has been talked about a lot on YouTube and in instruction manuals, but you don't see that many intermediate players actually using it to their full advantage. And it's something that is uh, easily within the technique um, and facility that you already have. Now, when I say colour and variation, I'm not talking about techniques or sounds such as the way you use your hands or head rolls. 
little tongue flutter, you know. I'm just talking about the way that you hit the notes. Now, the way that I illustrate this within this 12 bar passage is after the four chord, and we're coming back to the one chord, we use the opening phrase again. But this time, it's the same notes, but we try and hit it in a different way. Um, so on the one chord, we hit it like this. Now, th th that's the back end of the phrase. And this time, what I'm doing is I'm playing with a wider embouchure to give it a dirtier sound. And instead of ending the phrase on a rising bend, I end it on a down bend. It sounds like this. Same notes, but it has a different character. Now, that's the thing that I'm talking about, is how you can hit the same notes, but with different color. And the harmonica is a fantastic instrument, in fact, pretty unique in the different things that you can do um, in its uh, natural form. Uh, and intermediate players, you can play notes and can make you know, those kind of dirtier sounds, can add a lot of color into their playing and often don't really leverage it in the way that they might. Uh, again, thinking about um, tone, you can hit those that, that draw four with a thin tone um, one time, and then later on, if you return it, hit it with a fat tone. Very good. <laughs> or um, you've got rising volume, falling volume, loads of different um, possibilities, and advanced players just integrate those ideas seamlessly into their playing. They're just there. And as an intermediate player, you need to move to the level where you're doing the same thing. And there's no simple way to do it, but using the technique and the facilities that you already have, you can hit same notes, same phrases, um, but with different tones and different intent that will give your playing color and variation. So that's the last theme I'm going to cover in this uh, particular segment. I'm going to do one more video where I talk about the last two themes, which are anchoring and agility and playing through the changes. I'm going to play the 12 bar passage one more time to close. I hope that you found uh, this series useful and um, hopefully you watch the next video. If you've got any sort of comments, uh, put something up on YouTube or, or ping me an email. Uh, thank you very much. One, two, three. <laughs>